Today's video is gonna be about the camshaft position sensor from this Mini 1. The sensor is located right here. It has a three wire connector. Back here you've got a safety clip. You need a T15 and remove this bolt and you can wiggle the sensor out. And if you bench test the sensor, you should see full resistance. Okay, this one, nothing. Let's see this one, still nothing. Between the middle one and this third one, nothing. Next, I want to be able to back probe all these wires, so I'll have to remove this cover. Now let's turn on the ignition and see what voltage values we should read here. Let's connect to the first pin and the middle one. We've got 4.82 volts, between the left and the right 7.40 volts, and between the middle and the right one there is the car battery voltage. Now let's plug in the sensor, let's see between the left and the middle, looks like we've got nothing, between the left and the right nothing again, and between the middle and the right we've got the car battery voltage. Now if I simulate the camshaft moving, there is no reaction, so it means that we are not on the signal wire. So let's move the probes back to this left one. Oh, now we've got 7.41 and it looks like the voltage is changing. We've got 12 volts if I keep the magnet in here and you can see how we can pull that signal. But I think still this is not the signal wire. I think this middle one is the signal wire. Okay, so we've got 5 volts now. You can see how it goes to zero. And this is what you want to see. So this signal is going to be sent to the computer in a 5 volts form. It's going to be either 0 or 5 volts depending of those toots which are connected to the camshaft. And basically this signal is going to happen a lot faster than I can read with a voltmeter. And one more thing to check is this o-ring which has to seal. So you can test it by just pressing the sensor on and it should go a little bit harder in there. And click in like this. You're gonna tighten it in a plastic so just snug it a little bit and leave it secured in there. Plug in the connector and place back this safety clip. Okay guys, this was a quick one. Go ahead and check out the other videos I made about this Mini 1 with a diesel engine. Take care, drive safe and I will see you in the next video.